Okay, we're going to change some strings on the guitar. Firstly, we're going to start with the sixth string, which is the bass string, so we have to detune them. Using your previous tuning peg, you can use your fingers if you like. Like so. Grab one of these, should be a, a notch there. Keep them in order if you can. Before we put the U strings on, let's give it a wipe on the neck. If the frets does need polishing up, use 40 steel, steel wool. Underneath there, it's pretty important. And of course, if you want to polish up your guitar, these guitar polishers are available at your local music shop. And if you want to dress the fingerboard, which I'm going to do so, not too much with lemon oil. It goes a long way. Yeah, yeah she's done pretty good. You never forget to clean the headstock before you put them on. String brain wise is up to you, so it varies with a lot of guitars. So I'm going to put Martins on this one. push it in back in the peg and give it a good tug so it doesn't slip out. Now I'm going to grab a pencil, buy a pencil, I lubricate the nut just so. String it through the hole. Now we're not going to tighten it from there, but we're going to bring it back from here and bring it back and put a bend in it. Grab your peg winder. So that's pretty good. Just make sure that string T is in. That's pretty good. Then get your cutters. Just snip it off. Explanations of tuning the guitar. We've got a guitar tune on the headstock. So we're going to tune it to E. There's E. Up or down, when you see the green light, you know it's in tune. Then the A, that's a, the fifth string, that's pretty good. The D, which is the fourth string. The third string, the G string on the third up or down there we go the second string which is the B string and the last one the first string the E string And there you have it. That's all six strings are tuned. It's worthwhile to get a guitar tuner. It's very, very good investment.